from the moment that I put on Jack Sanborn's tape, I was impressed. Play after play after play, this guy just kept flashing. And today, I'm very excited to get into the tape of Sanborn, who took a lot more snaps in the last five to seven weeks. And the guy racked up so many stats. He had a couple sacks, pressures, hits on the quarterback, multiple run stops, multiple tackles for losses. However, it was plays like this that really stood out for me. You got a Hall of Famer here in Kelsey who's going to come out to Sanborn and he's going to try to hook off Sanborn to this side right here. But if you guys watch this play in slow motion, the linebacker is going to wait until the very, very last moment to actually make his move, right? You see he's going to lean towards the right and at the very last moment he leans left. And this is an impressive ass thing to do on tape for me because not a whole lot of people beat Kelsey. You, know, you can see Kelsey's definitely trying to get to the left side here of Sanborn based off the angle that he's kind of taking. He avoids number 96 there. And he's trying to position his body where he takes on 57 in a way. And the linebacker just does a really, really nice job beating Kelsey, getting to the spot, and making the play. But again, to me, the most impressive part is the way he uses his hands to kind of create a little bit of separation right there. That right there is a really nice job. And of course, he gets off the block, makes the play for just a gain of one yard, I'm really fired up to get into this film breakdown. Let's get right into it. Watch the inside linebacker jump this play, and he's going to chase the quarterback who's going to run to the left here. And it's just a really nice job once again by Sanborn, showing off that speed, being able to catch Jalen Hurts from the backside. Uh, just a really nice play. And when you look at these type of plays, there's a lot of different things you can kind of take. Uh, you can take first and foremost the fact he recognizes that Hurts is going to keep the ball. Maybe he understands the assignment of the outside linebacker here. And he knows his responsibility. But then he changes direction right here. And it's just the little things. And then he chases down the quarterback and he trips him up. The little things. This player right here just picks up two yards. This was first and ten. Uh, it's a really nice job, right? You want to be in a second and eight situation. And Jack Sanborn was able to do that. So to me, this is just a really, really nice play by the inside linebacker. With that being stated, let's go ahead and get into the next rep. The way Sanborn navigates traffic and he gets out of there on this play is pretty nice. You're going to see the right guard here, Isaac Samala. Uh, he's going to basically go up to that next level. He has the angle, but you see Sanborn do a really nice job just avoiding block. He kind of navigates the traffic and then he's able to kind of get in there. He's one of two guys that really make the play on this play. A uh, two-yard gain, but again, to me, I like the read. I like the recognition. I like the processing. I like how he kind of feels it out that you got the uh, tight end here. Let me back this up. You're going to get the tight end here, kind of pull out in front of Hertz to the right. And Sanborn's going to see that, right? He's going to feel it out. And you can see his body naturally kind of going that way a little bit, avoids the block, and then just kind of plays it from the backside, right? It's not his responsibility to blow up every play, or right? Every guy kind of has a run fit. But again, I like the natural instincts that you're kind of seeing with Sanborn. But you guys, check this play out. Jack Sanborn is going to recognize the quick screen to the right here. And he's going to chase it and make the play. His play only gains about two yards. Do understand that technically it does come back because of a penalty on the offense. But again, just a really nice job by Sanborn to kind of recognize the situation. You know what's interesting about this play is there's only two guys here. But there's three guys over here for the offense. So one of these guys, either the safety or Sanborn, have to kind of play underneath. And I'm not 100% sure who it was. I'm going to assume it was the linebacker because the safeties lined up really, really far away. But again, he does a good job getting there. You see the cornerback here set the edge. And you see Sanborn kind of chase it from the backside. That's exactly how you want to play. Just a really nice job right there. Watch what the linebacker does on this play in terms of feeling his run fit. Uh, again, you notice the, the instincts, right? Uh, the, the Packers are going to run this. Quick little inside run here to the running back who lines up in the fullback position. Uh, but you can see how the quarterback's going to kind of roll to the left. Number 33 here rolls to the left. And they're almost trying to trick the Chicago Bears defense, right? Really those linebackers. And when you get the running back going to the left, you have the quarterback also kind of faking that pitch to the left. You'd expect those linebackers to possibly go to that same side. Uh, but the linebackers don't actually fall for it. Because when you look at Sanborn, he's going to read the offensive lineman. Number 50 blocks down, 74 blocks down, and the linebacker recognizes the little things, right? That's a really, really nice shot. I mean, you can see he almost kind of hesitates there to kind of go back to that side. 
uh, initially he he reads it correctly right and he sees that he reads it correctly but you can see he almost tries to maybe go back to the left there recognizes it correctly and then he gets his 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 gets low takes on number 50 gets his body in there it's not enough to stop this play from picking up the first down uh, they needed only one yard they ended up getting that one yard but still it's a good job recognizing patterns to me the most impressive part of jack sanborn's ability is his ability to just run sideline to sideline plays like this man these guys have no shot to block a guy like sanborn you know technically on this play right here one of these offensive linemen here either the tackle or the guard should be able to cut off 57 i'm going to assume it's the guard there but you'll see how quick he is how he recognizes the play uh, he obviously sees something on tape he sees the, the pitch again if this guy's not able to get there which it is hard well then you got this next guy coming off the screen here to the left that should be able to pick him up and he's just not fast enough sanborn he avoids all of it and he hits his run fit there and he blows the play up to me this is what constantly sticks on sticks out on tape this right here this type of play right here is just the type of play I look at and I see right away that Jack Sanborn has the upside to be a really, really good football player. Now, he does have one limitation that I do want him to kind of improve on. And I do think he will because it's something that most rookies kind of go go through. And we'll get into that maybe a little bit later on. Uh, but with that being stated, let's go ahead and get into the next prep. Talk about hitting his gap and running through the blocker. I mean, this right here is just fantastic. Uh, you see him blow up the tight end there, number 85, who's kind of coming out to potentially block him. And he absolutely destroys this guy. I mean, to me, this is what you want to do as a linebacker. You want to get low, get physical, and this guy gets stood right up. And you see him go back a yard or two right there. And then you get the pulling offensive lineman. Sanborn kind of avoids both of those both of those guys. And then, of course, he gets in there mixed play on the running back. Uh, this is a gain of a couple yards, but Sanborn does a really nice job, again, just fighting through it, right? It's not always about not giving up any yards at all. You know, on first down, you can give up three yards, and being in that second and seventh situation is still favorable. To me, just really nice job reading, blowing up a play. This is what I like to watch on tape. Let's go ahead and get to the next rep. You know, there are usually plays on tape that you can watch, and they are the type of plays that tell you if a guy's going to be a good football player in the NFL. And here's one of those plays. This play right here shows you so many different things on tape. This this one play is all you really need to see to know that a guy is good against the run, right? Now, let's talk about this play and kind of what I mean when I'm talking about this play. Uh, first and foremost, you see this is an outside zone to the left. The center is going to snap the ball. And just think about what Sanborn as an inside linebacker is thinking about when the ball gets snapped. Right away, you see that the center and right guard start going to the left. You see the running back is already on the right side, which means he can technically only run it to the inside or slightly to the left. And look at the linebacker that start to flow that way. And then look as number 71, the center, turns towards the linebacker to block him. Watch what he does. Bam, he gets right past him. He understands the center has to take an angle. The center is going to attack him a certain way. And although he has his eyes in the backfield, he knows, he feels, he sees where the center kind of is and he's able to just avoid him. That right there is an absolute impressive play in my opinion. The center has no idea what just happened on this play. And this is a pretty good center too, right? This isn't a bad football player. But these are the type of plays that I absolutely love to watch. Now, we obviously know last season, Sanborn had an ankle injury uh, that kind of sidelined him for the rest of the season after that Eagles game. And what's interesting is he didn't play the rest of the season, but he looks healthy right now, right? At least that's the early reports. And to me, I think this guy's about to become one of the better linebackers in the NFL, All right? The guy looks very, very, very good on tape. You got another play here. He's going to flow to the football. He's going to run, get past the offensive lineman, and make the tackle here on the running back. Just to gain the two yards, first and ten. Just a really nice job once again. Sideline to sideline ability, that range to really flow. Just a really nice job right there. Got another really, really nice rep once again on tape. Again, just that that sideline to sideline ability. You see him get past the tight end. Tight end has no shot to block him. This is really, really, really top tier stuff. Right. Again, you see him use the hands. You see him position his body in a certain way. He basically gets right past the tight end, sheds him, 
And he doesn't even slow down. And he basically runs right to the running back and brings him down. This play right here loses a yard, a really, really nice rep. I don't want to overlook the sideline to sideline range that Jack Sanborn has. Another really nice play where he recognizes, you know, the play that's kind of happening. He's out in open space against a really good playmaker, and he brings that playmaker down. Just a really, really nice play once again. Recognizes the man going into motion to the left. Recognizes him come back around. Uh, it's an interesting little action there from the uh, wide receiver, Elijah Moore. Of course, Sanborn blows it all up. That's just a really, really nice job. Now, as I mentioned it already, there is one thing that I want Jack Sanborn to get better at, and it's not an issue at all, so don't think that that's what I'm saying, you know, is the one thing that'll hold him back, but I really want to see him get stronger and take on the, the more powerful guys, right? Usually, we know guards and centers are the strongest players on the offensive line. I really want to see him be able to get off blocks a little bit more cleanly. Not saying that he's struggling in this play here, but... Uh, just saying that I want to see that strength that certain guys have, right? The top tier guys when they're able to kind of get off the block. And he doesn't have to do it in the instance that like he runs people over or anything like that, you know. I just want to see him get stronger because there are plays where, uh, you know, it takes him a little bit longer to get off the block. And don't get me wrong, this is a really, really nice job to kind of stay out in front of the guard here. Uh, and he even creates that separation right there, which is a really nice shot, right? Creating that separation. But once you create that separation, I want to see him get off the block a little bit quicker. And I think that's going to happen as Sanborn hits year two, right? I really think he'll develop into that true inside linebacker that's an absolute game changer. Now, just to kind of add to that, you're going to see Chris Lindstrom get to the inside and try to cut off the inside linebacker here. And keep in mind, Lindstrom is one of the best line, one of the best offensive linemen in the NFL. Uh, but you see Sanborn here struggle just a little bit. He misses the initial punch, and, and that kind of leads to him getting struggling to get off the block. Uh, he tries to go over the top, but Lindstrom's a really, really good offensive lineman. He knows kind of how to uh, beat guys that are trying to get off the block a certain type of way. And in this instance, he gets himself into a really bad spot, right? I would ideally like to see uh, just like Sanborn, when he recognizes these plays, just go through a guy, right? Don't Don't think twice. Just run through a guy and, and try to get there. Um, but yeah, you know, right now, a lot of what I'm seeing with him getting off blocks is him using more of his hand-to-hand uh, -hand technique, which is nothing wrong with that, right? That's obviously one of the ways that most really, really good linebackers win. But again, I just want to see him continue to develop, right? Because he isn't Ray Lewis today, right? Let's be honest. If he wants to develop into that next Ray Lewis, he just has to continue to work on certain things. The strength, I think, is going to be one of it, one part of it. And as we've kind of already broken down over the course of this film breakdown, the guy has a very, very good mental process, right? He looks very, very good from that perspective. Alrighty, guys, so you got a third and one here. Watch the linebacker just explode through here. I mean, this is, this is a really, really nice shot. Now, he doesn't make the play technically, but the play does get stopped, right? You don't pick the yard up that, that they needed. And part of that is, is because the linebacker shows, you know, he shows that explosiveness. He shows the ability to get off the block, right? You see the right hand right there. Uh, he gets himself separated from the offensive lineman. And he doesn't wait. He attacks. And yeah, you'd like him to get a little bit lower and bring the ball carrier down. But sometimes being able to get in there, being able to wrap up, slows a guy down enough that other people can kind of get there. And you see in this instance, the defense kind of swarms through the football. But again, you know, these are just the, the little things that I really, really, really like here from Sanborn, right? He shows the ability to understand certain things, understand certain concepts. A coach is telling this guy right here, hey, the left side for you is overloaded, right? You got an extra offensive lineman. You got an extra tight end to that side. That's likely where they're going to run the football. You know, maybe right before they snap the ball, take two steps to your left. Right, because right now these offensive linemen won't know where Sanborn is, but as soon as he starts to move pre snap, it makes it so much more difficult and he gets it. Right. This right here, I can guarantee you, was designed, drawn up by the coach. Uh, maybe it was designed during practice, maybe it was designed on the sideline that if we're in this third and one situation, we're gonna have you pre snap, take a step to your left or, or two steps to your left. Um, and he does a really nice job on this play. I know some people will hold it against him that he didn't make the play. But sometimes causing disruption uh, is good enough, 
right? And you can see, as you'll see here, number 99, watch what he does, right? He's causing that disruption as well. He doesn't make the play, but what he does is he gets low, he gets into this guard, and he basically pushes this guy back. And actually may be their right tackle, but again, just a really, really nice job. Let's go ahead and get to the next rep. A really nice job once again by the inside linebacker. He's going to step up, fill the open gap, and make the play. I mean, this is just simple football right here, right? But what's crazy is not every single linebacker can do this, right? Not every linebacker will step up into the correct gap. Not every linebacker will get lower than a running back. And not every linebacker is tackling this running back. He's a really good running back for the Falcons. And uh, you can see Jack Sanborn steps in there, doesn't hesitate, and just does a really, really nice job. Stopping this play just for a gain of two yards. Let's go ahead and get to the next rep. Again, just talking about playing fundamental football recognizing flowing being able to just do all the little things and, and kind of put it together that's what we get out of jack sanborn and it is part of why i really really like this young inside linebacker you know this season we're definitely going to be following sanborn as we'll follow the chicago bears in general as we followed them this past season now do keep in mind this past season it was a little bit different we really only focused in on the offensive line we're not going to do that this year Right, this year we'll focus in on both the offense in general and the defense in general, which will include obviously following Jack Sanborn and as he progresses in his second season. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing, hit that thumbs up button, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.